Yeah, she needs to wander this weekend and explore the art and culture of countries all across the globe, and you can do that without having to leave Colombia. So grab your tickets for the two-day 28th annual Columbia International Festival. Joining me today is the director of that festival who's been making his rounds here at WIS, Dr. Raj Aluri. Thank you so much for being here. Good to be here with you. This is the 28th year of the festival. Congratulations on that. There's going to be music, culture, food, people performing. Uh, I know that is always a huge turnout, but for the few people out there who are watching who may have never attended, what is the best part about this international festival? Best part is always food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have food from probably 25 countries served. So it's a food court. People go around and taste food from different countries. And give us some examples of the countries that will be having food there. Ethiopia, mm -hmm. okay, is one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> Kenya, and then of course, we have Mexican food and Chinese food, Indian food. This is all authentic food authentic as well. This is amazing. I always wonder, how <laughs> do you find the chefs and the performers and just the, the exhibits to come out? You know, Are there new people each year? We have a lot of talent mm -hmm. in the Columbia area. So most of the people who participate in the festival are locals. Wow. And just sharing... Yeah. the information about their <laughs> culture. That's amazing. So right now we're looking at some video. This is a preview uh, or actually just past footage of the festival over the last 28 years. Uh, walk us through a little bit about some of what we're looking at. That's the flag ceremony that we saw. That's a performance from Samoa. Mm -hmm. And what's been your favorite part about putting this together, Dr. Aluri? Just the people. I get to meet people from more than 100 countries wow. in a weekend. That's amazing. That's the best part of it. And also, you haven't seen people in a long time, they come to the festival. Yeah. So it's a connecting point, making friends, and uh, it's a place to come together as, as people from various backgrounds and just appreciate each other and then taste each other's food. Uh, so it's, it's a great place to build a community. That's amazing. And so this is a two-day festival kicking off this Saturday, April 1st. <laughs> and for those who are concerned about the weather and the rain, I know that we have an alert day posted for tomorrow, but this is 100% uh, inside. So it's going to be at the state fairgrounds inside uh, of the buildings there. What is going to happen on day one that may be different from day two? Day one, we have a 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Olympic-style flag ceremony. That's only one day event. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see an Olympic style flag ceremony from over 100 countries, that's the best time to come is Saturday. Okay. But Sunday is also a very good day. We have an adult and children's fashion show. On Saturday we have an adult fashion show. On Sunday we have a children's fashion show. Of course we have people performing, probably about 20 countries performing on the stage throughout the day on Saturday and also on Sunday afternoon. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. How many people are you expecting this weekend? I'm expecting about 20,000 people. 20,000. But an indoor, family friendly, no alcohol. Yes. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great event for everybody to come grandparents and little children. Yes, they'll especially have a good time. when you talk about that fashion show. That sounds amazing. I saw some of the clips there. But well, Dr. Lori, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to pull up the information once more for our viewers at home so you are able to attend this family fun event happening this weekend at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Again, this, remember, this is inside. This is the 28th Annual Columbia International Festival, uh, Saturday, April 1st, kicking off at 10 a.m. Sunday, kicking off at noon. Tickets only $7, parking $5. And if you're under the age of 18, you get in free if you're with an adult who has purchased a ticket.